Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to add your Zoom invite to your email calendar. What's the benefit, you may ask? Well, we're all connected by our devices these days, whether it's your cell phone or your tablet. Now, if you have these devices in your hand, it means you have access to your calendars. Now, this is especially useful if you have a reoccurring meeting. It can be a meeting that happens once a week, once a month, or once a year. Once you add it into your calendar, you now have one-click access. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to take your email, and we're going to take your Zoom invite, and we're going to merge them together. So you have ease. In this video, I will show you how to add the Zoom invite to your Gmail calendar. To start off, let's say you were sent the Zoom login information by email. Let's open up the email and collect that information. As you see here, it has the time, the date, has the link, meeting ID, and password. Let's open up your Gmail calendar now. If you look to the top right, you'll see the little dots and it says Google Apps when you hover over it. Click on that and you'll see the Google Calendar. When you click on it, you'll now be able to add your meeting. When we go back to your email, we see that the meeting is for January 17th at 4 p.m. Let's click on January 17th. When you click on January 17th, you have the option for a quick ad, but we're not going to do that. Click on more options on the bottom left. Now in here is where you're going to add in your details. What we're going to do is we're going to copy the topic. Right click, copy. Go back to your calendar. Click in the space that adds title. Right click and click paste. Go back to the email. You're going to look at the time, January 17th, 4 p.m. Right here, it says all day. We don't want that. Unselect. Now the options come up to change your time. So we're going to set this up to repeat weekly. Well, we don't want it to repeat on every Sunday weekly. We want it on another day. So we're going to select custom. It's going to repeat once a week. First select Wednesday, then deselect Sunday. You don't want it to end for now. Click done. There it is, weekly on Wednesday. You're not going to touch any of these options here. Location. In the location slot, we're going to put in this link. So let's select this link. Right click, copy. Go into the location, right click, and paste. Go back to the email and you're going to select all this information here, right click, copy, and into the body, you're going to add it into the description. Do you want it to notify you? Well, you can set it to either notify you on your computer or by email. I like email because as long as I have my cell phone or tablet, I'll get that email notification. You want it 30 minutes, 60 minutes. Maybe you want it a day before. Maybe you want it a week before. I usually like a day before. Sometimes I also like it one hour before. So I'll select add notification again, change it to email one hour before. I usually leave these options alone, but you can select different options like free or busy so others can see your schedule when you're sharing your calendar. And here is where you set it if you want the public or others to see your calendar or if you want it private. Default is set to private. What if you had someone else that's also going to be joining you at this meeting? You can add them in your calendar here. Simply type in their email, hit enter, and now they're added. Click save. Let's check our calendar. Here it is, 20th, 27th, 3rd. Now let's go into our calendar and join the meeting. 
here it is right here. When I click on it, you'll see that there's a couple of options that come up. Here's the meeting ID, the password, and so forth. If you hover over the location where we entered in the link and click on it, it automatically takes you to open up Zoom. Now you can launch from your app that you have installed, or you can launch from your browser. Simply click on the bottom option that says join from browser. If you have the app installed from your computer, click launch meeting. I usually recommend launching from the meeting because you'll have more options that way. Enter in your name, click you're not a robot, and then you'll be moved toward the meeting. There you go, I'm in the meeting. At other times, people will send you a link that doesn't have an ID or password and the link allows you to join the meeting automatically. But what if you wanted to add it to your calendar afterwards? Well, after joining your meeting, you can select this little icon at the top left. It looks like a little green shield with a check mark on it. It's called meeting information. When you click on that, you can collect your meeting ID, your password, and also copy the link if you needed to share it. Use this information if you wanted to add it to your calendar. Well, let's see how it'll look like from your mobile device. Let's say your phone or your tablet. Go to your calendar, go to the date, click on the meeting that you have scheduled in your calendar, click on the link on where the location would be at the top. Now it'll automatically open up your Zoom app and take you right in. You've saved all your information in there. Well, that's it. You've just added your meeting to your calendar and you have it on all your devices that has your Gmail. Please feel free to comment in the comments tab and let me know if you have any other questions. See you on the next video.